All right, a by now familiar sight, game on 2023. <clears throat> Friday morning, it's starting to pick up quite a bit. Um, a lot of games happening. Uh, this might be another Europa Universalis game today. We'll see. Um, we got successors going here. It's the third edition, the GMT edition. They are getting started, getting playing that. We got <coughs> Pax Renaissance going with some new players here. He's uh, explaining the game. Love Pax Renaissance. That's a fantastic game. Got more tank duel happening here today. A couple tanks each for both of those guys. Um, we're going to start to pick up Tunisia. This is all I'm doing all day today is uh, Tunisia 2. So uh, we're going to pick up from where we left off yesterday. Nothing has changed. I just got here, but um, probably take over the uh, allies since I know what I was doing with them and I don't know what the Axis had, player had set up. We got Jeff over here unboxing and punching Knock Paris. Did you just pick this up? Uh, I've heard it for a couple of months. Yeah, but I wanted to... same. <laughs> it looks amazing. Like this, these maps are incredible. Like it just everything about it looks super crunchy and involved. I'm just, I'm just learning which which color uniform people have because the counters are uh, colors according to the yeah. I think colors. the purple ones I think are Belgian. Uh, these are actually French. French. Got, oh yeah. Actually, no, that's the forts. These are French because they've got red trousers and blue jackets. Right. <laughs> But the officers have uh, different colors. Yeah, so you can recognize them, I think, on the map. Like, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to play this. Um, if you ever get a game going at the club, I would love to join. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got Heroes Against the Red Star over here with these guys. They were looking at uh, um, Scum of the Earth 1815 yesterday. We got uh, Most Fearful Sacrifice. A lot of blind swords happening. Love the map. They're playing a single scenario on one map. We got a game of uh, Fall of Saigon, Fire in the Lake going here. We're going through the play rates. Got another game of Time of Crisis with the crew I played with yesterday. Oh, there he is. Hey, yes, what's the question? Are these areas, these areas are not out of play, right? Um, ooh, that's a good question. I think... Because we just got Zenobia, which is... I believe in a three-player game, some of the areas are out of play. Anyway. All right, we got Paths of Glory over here. Peter, this is what, the fourth game in a year that you're playing here at Game On? Yeah, nice. Good luck. Nice. Imperial Struggle still going. It's got uh, it, uh, Shiloh happening over there um, still. What else? Axis Empire Solar Creek back at it today. They are committed. Still, Market Garden still going. Looks like we've got some dense conflict areas now. It's Goth. More War of the Ring. It's a popular one this weekend. We got some um, Deal with the Devil. It's got a round later round. Nice. Um, yeah, more time for trumpets going over in the corner there. We've been playing that all weekend. What else do we got? Uh, we got around the table. There's a local game store here in Seattle. They're doing their merch stuff. They're selling stuff. I'll take more Dune Imperium. Over here, we got Friedman Freeze's free ride. Oh. Looks like a, possibly a train game. It's one of his that I'm not aware of. So yeah, around the table. Here you go. If you're ever in Seattle, they got a good selection of war games. They've got, uh, as you can see, beer and hangouts. It's a great. Um, they're just north of Seattle, so they're in one of the suburbs. But they're a great game store. They've obviously got a really nice selection here of stuff. Um, and they come every year, and they're one of the sponsors of Game On. And um, they are the only, as far as I'm aware, they're the only. Uh, distributor of um, the Finnish company that does W1815 in the US so uh, if you're looking for any of their games uh, I think you have to get them from around the table which is kind of cool they're out of W1815 right now but hopefully they, that game is reprinted and they will have it and they will also ship I believe if you call them got a game of Churchill happening over here like I like Churchill a lot um, and I think that's everything happening in the uh, the upper room here this morning. A lot of games going. Everyone's deep into it. Um, I'm going to go downstairs. Oh, actually, one more. Aracor. BCS Aracor. What scenario are you guys doing? The fourth scenario, but we might stop at 805. Yeah. Cool. Uh, awesome. All right, let me run downstairs real quick uh, and show you. So that Pacific War happening here. Conference room. That's how you, that, yeah. uh, Twilight Imperium. Yes. Excellent. Wow, you got uh, some like pimped out components here. The strategy cards have their own little thrones. That's cool. I love it. I just played a game of this uh, last weekend and uh, over two sessions. And so, uh, you play with the expansions, it looks like, some of the new races. I've never seen the Urgent Flight before. That's cool. Yeah, there's a that's awesome. number of new races here. Yeah. 
I, uh, I played a game last weekend and I won as the Yasarl tribes, um, the strategy card folks. That was a lot of fun. Very cool. Good luck. Thanks. You too. Northwest ASL Championship going up. Gonna be a lot of ASL happening in here this weekend. What do we got in this room? Yeah, more ASL. Looks like we got some Panzer going on on that table. With tiny little tanks. <laughs> Looking to play some Mage Knight at some point, it looks like. Yeah, Mage Knight or love Quest it. for the Lost Pixel. You know, nice. Work. I love Mage Knight. It's such a fun game. It's a classic. I've only got to play it a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you so play, you probably time three or four. Do you play cooperatively or competitively when you play? Uh, it's cooperative. Cooperatively, yeah, that's what I prefer as well. It's a fun game. Yeah, so we're about to break that out. Do you have any of the expansion characters? Um, well, it's actually my friend's. Oh, okay. Um, does he have... I don't... I think so, yes. Okay, nice. <laughs> yes. Nice, awesome. Yeah, so. Well, best of luck. Cool. Yeah, cheers. <clears throat> and we got another room over here. What do we got? So, 1960 still set up. I was supposed to play that last night, and then I got sucked into Time of Crisis, so I might revisit that. Another game of successors down here. Oh, shit, I left it up. This is the uh, Fate Lynx version. So, in the surrender phase, it just becomes mine. It's a Dave. Just started. The funeral cart is still in Babylon. <clears throat> it's a great game as well. And then. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. Okay. So I can do Art, no, perform no. one or more different association tasks. So if I have three, uh, yeah. that. <laughs> so that's what's going on this morning. Lots of gaming happening. Everyone's fresh. Everyone's ready to go. And uh, we're about to head into Tunisia. So I'll see you after a little while. All right, Friday night at Game On. So much stuff happening downstairs as well. Got some lock and load tactical loading up here. Um, Lisboa, nice, so colorful. <laughs> Chaos of the Old World, the original coin game, Chaos in the Old World. <laughs> Warhammer 40k, four player asymmetric game. Ow! Loser. Oh, no, that's horrible. Iron, Roman Gold? Oh, I'm Iron so Roman Gold. sorry for you. But the, you can keep moving. What's the game, Jeff? It's called Plunder. 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 It's a pretty good pirate game. Yes. I don't have Iron Matey. Uh, got quests for the Lost Pixel happening here. Charming 8-bit, 16-bit art style. <laughs> Love it. Mm, mycology, it's a playtest. I feel like the game is closer than Mushrooms? Oh, sorry. And, uh, kind of tight there. We got uh, Blind Sword still happening here. Stone Sword. I got some news about that game that I will get to in a second. Axis Empire still going! East Front underway, still going. Arkham Horror, the classic. It's a Friday night. You can tell by the randomness. You've got you've got Goss Market Garden next to Arkham Horror. It's a game on. Triumphant Tragedy starting. Starting. Bios Origins. Thought it would be sooner before Phil Eklund Games came out. Sierra Madre. Uh, Dune Imperium. It's important that everyone always has a game of Dune Imperium. Going. This looks awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. Amazing. What game is this? Unfathomable. Unfathomable. Battle Stars. It's BSG at sea. Uh -huh. How are you liking it, Jeff? BSG at sea. I like it because Mike's really pissed off. <laughs> Well, he, the, the Cylon has been really torturing the, the, the meta carries. This crew right here with Battlestar oh, and yeah. Secret Identity games. Yeah. yeah. The Cylons are still at work. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them at the airlock. It's a long history. <laughs> <laughs> Ionium? And then I'm going to build... Oh, Concordia, but the, but, uh, okay. the map. The map. Conquest and Consequence happening on a table right next to Triumph and Tragedy. World War II blocks being fought. Uh, what do we got? It looks like Cthulhu Wars is happening over in the corner. I haven't played this game in a while. Yeah, check that out. Uh-huh. Yep. Good times. Cultists everywhere. 
Uh, yeah, so that is the upper upper room. We'll go downstairs in a second, um, but I do want to give a recap of uh, Tunisia, so let's do that. Okay, Tunisia 2. Spent the whole day playing Tunisia 2. We are in the January 15th turn. Uh, we've had a lot of mud, so it's moved pretty quickly, but uh, OCS. I am the allies. Uh, you can see the DG markers all over the map. Uh, the Axis just had a really great turn. I put the hurt on 10th Panzer, and I was like, I'm doing well, I'm doing well, I'm gonna march to Tunis. And then the Commonwealth and the, the Americans and the French just absolutely got hammered. Part of that was that my attack to hit 10th Panzer used up most of my supply. And then the German counterattack was swift and fierce. He also used up a lot of his supply as well. I was getting ready to do some clever things. I have this French Moroccan division they're going to try and swing around, do some maneuver, uh, and then it all started to fall apart. We lost most of our defenders in here. We lost most of our defenders in here. This guy's out of supply. Uh, we don't have very many reserve defenders. Uh, it's, it's real gnarly right now. Uh, I'm not liking where this is headed. We've got to pull back. We're going to have to pull back. We've got some parts of 1st Infantry up here, and the French, they're holding this kind of channel, but as you can see, there's two highways that come down through here. Um, the American 2nd Corps has been busy with some free French. They have set up around Kazarine Pass. We were, I was trying to be clever. I was trying to get, you know, hold him here and come around this direction, but the German units are just so good. You can see some of uh, Africa Corps and the Italians. It's, it's, there hasn't been any conflict down here, really, but... Uh, the turn that I used all my supply, he got back-to-back -back activations, which was not helpful. Uh, so I'm in a world of hurt, and I need to figure out how I'm going to pull back and recover. Uh, but it's having fun, having fun so far. I can see I'm going to get a couple reinforcement stacks next turn. They're really hard to bring in because I have to sh you have to ship everything to Tunisia, and you don't have a lot of sea shipping ability. So it's a long slog. So I got to do some triaging. But this is where we are um, at the end, middle of January. So if I can hold out till the Desert Air Force shows up at the end of the month and then next month we'll have uh, potentially the 8th army coming up from this direction maybe hopefully possibly uh, we might be able to salvage the campaign but it's been a ton of fun I've been wanting to play this for a long time I'm glad to get it to the table and um, yeah Tunisia too all right down here I think the game of Twilight Imperium is still going let's take a look they were still at it last time I walked by they've been playing all day let's take a look it wrapped up who won John Nar and the Alliance tied at eight when we decided to call, call it. it. Yes. Damn Jolnar. They just get so much technology. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he had that much technology. <laughs> he, just, he, had, he had a good, a good objective, secret yeah. objective. Yeah. Not secret objectives, uh, public objectives. Public objectives, yeah. I love these little stand, I love these like strategy card standees. So cool. Really neat. Thank you. Oh, I missed out on the end of that one, so it was a tie at eight points. They've been playing all day. That's pretty cool. ASL, ASL. Very packed in the ASL room right now. ASL all day. There's some games going in here earlier. Looks like people have finished up. I'm not sure what people are playing. Totaler Krieg. Another Totaler Krieg game about to start? Mm. You bought it. Nope, friend no. bought it. Friend bought it. it up. Okay. Yeah, they've been playing that whole thing up there every day. Four, is it the third straight day, I think, they've been playing it? Fourth, maybe, because they started early? This is Throne, Throne World. World. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's 1997. cool. 1997. Look at that. It, the graphics straight out of 1997. <laughs> I think they may have got a little early. 4X? Space 4X? Yeah. Nice. The Space 4X in that room, Space 4X in this room. Confined to the basement. Yeah, <laughs> yes. The Final Frontier. <laughs> In, in here, still haven't gotten to 1916. I'm not going to. Come together. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. See what people are playing. And Amerigo. Mm -hmm. Yes. With the tower, the Tower of Cubes. So you put in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 They get stuck, but every time you put more in, it's gonna come out. <laughs> yeah. A lot of your games happening right now. It is late in the day. A lot of the war games started this morning and they're still going or wrapped up. And that is game on for Friday night. I'm about to take off because I have a hockey game to go play in, uh, but I will be back tomorrow. We're going to be doing more Tunisia and possibly some other stuff. Um, but before I go, I want to show you my pickups for today from the Swap Meet. Amazing deals. I'll show you that next. All right, special deals that I picked up at the Swap Meet, the flea market. I've been getting into Blind Swords. Well, we're a couple Blind Swords games listed. Punched. 
clipped, complete. We got the maps from Rick Barber. Uh, I believe Sword Wall Sword was the first uh, Blind Swords game, or one of the first ones. Thunder in the Ozarks was the uh, second one. We got Pea Ridge, Battle of Cedar Mountain. Uh, you know, these were $5 a piece. You can't beat that price. Five bucks to play <laughs> this game. Um, so I'm very happy with that pickup. I will be playing these at some point. Even though I'm not the biggest Civil War fan, I do like the system, and, you know, for that price. Can't beat it. 